friends welcome back to my channel it has been a long time since i said that i've got a vlog for you today it's going to be a manic hectic moving vlog and i have been waiting five whole months to film this video like it is exciting it's overwhelming it's exciting it's moving day and i cannot wait so before we begin please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're looking forward to all the moving vlogs the storage the decor oh, i can't wait let's get into it so i look an absolute state i've been up since half four this morning because my hay fever has been so bad um i forgot to take my antihistamine last night because i find it better in the evening um and strong ones as well but oh, my arm's aching already i'm not used to holding the camera up i'm leaving the house early this morning because we're going straight to the storage units that we've got because obviously if you know my channel or my social medias um you'll know that i or we had to put our old furniture and stuff in storage whilst we had like temporary accommodation as for example i am at connor's which the room is an absolute state but we're getting there we are getting there so connor's gonna come here later and grab some stuff i might come with him we need to grab his mattress because he wants to use his but yeah it is currently half past seven i'm leaving at quarter to nine to go grab my dad because he's gonna help me connor's half a day in work today so that's exciting we're hoping to get the keys by midday fingers crossed and i'm so excited to show you all the house you're gonna see a lot of before and afters and i'm gonna try and hopefully not rush to get in there and actually film the house empty guys wait until you see the house i am so 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 lucky and very grateful for owning my own house i hope you're all excited for me please don't take this video as a video of bragging or anything like that i'm just documenting a very very important special time of my life we have been waiting to move out into our own home me and connor for ages we've been together for six years now which is insane and we're finally moving in together fully official and it's so exciting i hope you enjoy this vlog and i hope it's not too much of a chaotic vlog but if you know my vlogs you'll know they're pretty chaotic sometimes okay this is just a quick update and i am in a bad angle because the sun i've never actually filmed in my car before but obviously you can see it's all packed up. I put my sunglasses on because it's a nice sunny day. The sun has come out today, which is very, very, very nice. At least it's not raining. Um, but yeah, I'm going to grab my dad now. I just realized the radio was on, sorry. Um, like I said, I'm not used to filming in my car, but I am running late. So, as always, if you know me i'm off to grab my dad let's put the air con on because it's absolutely boiling what's the temperature oh what it is 27.5 degrees i hope you can see me um yeah let's go oh yeah we're off to get the keys it is Boiling. 10 past 1 which isn't too bad we thought we'd be waiting all afternoon um, because we stopped by the house earlier and they were still packing up the house which yeah um, my forehead looks really spotty is my forehead spotty? yep is it? no oh, we're off to the state agents to get the keys look who we got yay we got the keys finally how stressful was that con? that's fine it was very stressful, very confusing, but it's fine. We got a key. Um, we, she said that we can get the other ones at the house or something. Um, but we got it, so we're on our way and we can unpack. We're in the house. We finally got the key and now we're in the house. I'm in the living room. So much work to do, painting and stuff, but... So it is the next day now and I forgot to mention yesterday was the 7th of July. 
um, it is now obviously the 8th of July. Um, we spent our first night here, we literally just slept on the mattress. There's been a few dents where like obviously they've taken like furniture down the stairs and stuff which we've taken photos of and everything but yeah so we spent our first night here last night we slept just on the mattress which wasn't the most comfortable but it was fine we went to bed about half 10 so we had a good night sleep uh, ready for today a bit annoying though i've got makeup appointments to do um prom which obviously it's just it is what it is wish it wasn't happening because i just want to crack on um, if I just show you just getting ready to go out now, the lighting's so good because it's like really nice and bright in this home because it's obviously a new build. Love the doors, already built in wardrobe which I love because it's not like taking up room. But the doors are quite hefty and good quality. But if I turn you around, this is the state of the room. Love that for us. We're just putting the bed together now but we need some tools that we can't find. Um, and we want to paint this because that is not my vibe um, that's a little bit annoying but it's because of the stairs like this is what we're dealing with right now that's my dad's room for now and my brother's room because the there's like a little dip there so obviously that's why we've got that bit in there there's a bathroom shower room toilet in there and obviously you go down the stairs um, which I'll take you down. Why not? See how bright it is? I love it. Um, what I love about this house is that there's literally no one behind us and there's no one in front of us. Obviously I'm not going to show you too much but this is the kitchen. Again, that colour is just not my vibe so that's being white. I sort of would like maybe panelling there. I think that would be really nice but maybe in the future sometime. And then here is the kitchen. Absolutely love the kitchen. It's so nice and bright. I love it. Compared to our old kitchen, if you're not new to my channel, then you'll know how dark my old kitchen used to be like. But in here we've got a nice sort of, like a cupboard. What do we call it? I can't remember. And then we've got a, just a downstairs toilet. It's quite big. And then we've got the living room, which I love this feature. Again, probably going to paint that a different colour, but I like what they've done to that. They've obviously built that themselves. TV. And then we've got where the sofa's going to be. I'm going to try and uh, see if we can get a new sofa, but we'll see. I want like an L-shaped sofa. I think that would be really nice for there. But how bright is it in here? I love it. And then if I take you down downstairs. Got so many ideas for this house. We've got in here, we've got my makeup room, which is absolutely packed with boxes. Um, and then it goes out to the garden. And obviously it's got the double doors. So I love that. It's just got really quiet in here. Like they've soundproofed it or something and then you go back out we've actually got a utility room which is like even more storage again which i love and then you've got a back door in there is just the boiler again not a massive fan of this i see where they're going with it obviously this is the hallway but i just want it bright and no color <laughs> basically in here you've got a toilet shower room so that would be handy. Very, very lucky, very lucky. Um, we've got three showers in this house, which is absolutely insane. And then we come to the hallway. I've got loads of plans for this. I want to put like a accent chair here, um, stuff like that. And then we've got the garage, which is round with more stuff, sofas and stuff. And then we've got the front door. So that is a little quick house tour I suppose of what the chaos is looking like at the moment. The stairs are a bit squeaky which we need to sort out. I want to add a massive mirror here on this one. God we're gonna be losing some weight. Yeah that is my house tour. Also I would show you the ensuite that is here but Connor's currently in the shower um, and we do have a loft which is obviously there um, and it's insulated it's all done 
which is great. Again, I would show you in the toilet, the bathroom, but that's jammed at the moment. Can't get in there. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go out now and do the makeup. I gotta drive an hour and a half to this makeup. And I've also got to drive an hour and a half back. So that's three hours of driving today, which I didn't want to do the day after I moved into my house, but it is what it is. So I will pick up the camera maybe later on. I'll throw in some time lapse and stuff of us painting maybe. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. We are currently sanding some of the walls down. Sorry if you can hear the mawn lawn lawnmower outside. Um, the neighbors cut his grass. Um, the neighbours seem really nice around here, which is so nice. But we're currently painting this wall because this wall had um, some holes we need to fill and obviously Connor's filling some holes in the ensuite as well. And then we're going to crack on with this little bit here and the green wall. But I'm just going to tidy up this and put it all on the bed and cover it all and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be cracking on with this wall now. I need to try and find my tripod, um, that's here somewhere, but I will maybe do a time lapse and I'll pick you up again when we do something, maybe when we start this one, because that's going to be a task. Okay, so I've completely painted this wall now, I need to probably paint the doors um, and maybe, I don't think it's going to need another coat, so that's done, um, just need to do the doors like I said. And I'm going to do this. Now, look at my hands, look at the state of me. <laughs> Love that. If you've got more paint on you, the better. That means you're working hard. I'm gonna put you on a time lapse now. I didn't on the other wall, but I don't wanna bore you too much, you know? Good morning, it's another day. It's day four, I believe. It's the 10th of July and it's so nice to have my bed board back. I just love it. Today is a busy day. We have finally painted the two walls and we've started on this wall, the dark green one. We just need to do the window wall today now as well, but obviously Connor's gone to work until half three um but that's fine because i've got a busy morning i've got an appointment to get my lips redone uh at 10. i haven't had my lips done in two years guys in august so when we painted the wall white yesterday we put our swatches that i bought for the paneling on the wall which i'm going to show you so here they are let me see what they're called. So what we're trying to do is match the um, headboard, but maybe a little bit darker. They're all deluxe. That is knotted twine, that one, which I think is too dark and too grey. And then we've got Egyptian cotton, which is the middle one. The middle one is Egyptian cotton. And then lastly, we've got the nutmeg white, which is obviously this one here. So let me know your favorite, but I think we know which one we're going for. We're definitely not going for this one because like I said, it's too dark, and too gray. This one's a little bit rosy. Now it's on the wall. I do like, I do like the color of it though. It is a nice sort of nude sort of shade. But we're gonna go with this one because it matches the headboard really nicely. I can't wait to show you the paneling. We're doing like a sort of three quarter of the way up the wall, um, just over halfway I think. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. I've got so many like inspo pics that I've uh, saved on Pinterest. But these samples are like £2.75, but they are worth it, definitely. I'm gonna get ready to go out. I am gonna go tidy up the kitchen a little bit and yeah, pick up the camera later on, maybe after when I've had my lips done because that's at 10. So that's gonna be soon. I think it's about seven at the moment. God, you can tell that it is like day five because of the state of noon. My top is covered in paint. You can't really see it. There we go. <laughs> and my trousers. I need to remember to pick the camera up 
because I really want to have memories of these moments, do you know what I mean? Not that it's really interesting, but I thought I'd pick my camera up because I am on my last day off today. I go back to work tomorrow, which is fun. We've done so much so far, but there's so much to do. I haven't even started on my makeup room yet, which that's going to be in a separate video. So stay tuned for that very soon. But what I'm currently doing at the moment is some people here and I'm just sanding down the door. So this is painted. I just need to paint in the inside of the cupboard. And then that's what they looked like before. I'm hoping you can see a difference. So these are painted white and these are more of like a creamy off-white. I don't know whether that's because they've like sort of worn throughout the years and they've just never painted it. So I actually went to Home Bargains this morning and I bought us some cleaning supplies because the showers are disgusting but I also bought myself a little step because actually in the kitchen I bought this for the kitchen mainly but um I need a little step to get up to the big the higher cupboards yeah so I thought this would be handy to do like DIY as well so I'm gonna use this so let's test my little stool oh yeah so much better, I won't get any dust in my eyes now. Okay, I look hot and sweaty so you'll have to ignore that but I have now done this door and this door just gonna wait for them to dry I think that one's pretty much dry that's when you see me painting sanding um, but I have done that one I do need to do the bedroom door but I think I'm gonna leave that for now um, I'm gonna go I don't even think I showed you this ignore the mess um because i've been cleaning and because that was absolutely disgusting and grubby but this is our own suite so you walk in you've got the toilet you've got the hand mason uh the sink mirror to go up on there and then you've got the shower we are considering changing all the silver to black i'm not sure though um, is it going to go with the grey? We don't know, but we do have the black um, bits and bobs already for the, for the shower room. And obviously we've got a black towels. This is just a towel radiator. And yeah. What was I going to talk to you guys about? Oh yeah. Um, oh my god, this would be a nice setup. So I don't even know if I've explained since yesterday. Um, you know I said I had an appointment to get my lips filled again, my lip filler. Well, I actually booked a consultation because I haven't had them done for nearly two years. But I wanted to ask my lady Jess what she thinks I should get. I don't know where to get one mil, half a mil, but I didn't realise that I couldn't get it done yesterday because uh, the lady I DM'd them um, I think it's like a different woman who deals with the messages. Um, she said that I could get it done after the consultation if I wanted to, but I'm assuming Jess is always busy, um, so that's probably why she was fully booked maybe, but <laughs> i got to wait until next Tuesday now, next week. But it is what it is, so that's why um, I don't have swollen lips. Anyway, I'm going to maybe start painting in here. Done the skirting boards, I've caulked around skirting boards, I need to paint the skirting boards. There's still so much to do and little time. I'm so glad I painted these doors because it looks ten times better. It actually looks white now, not like a creamy colour. Cheers. 
well needed, well deserved break. These are so good. I don't want to recommend energy drinks, and I never used to like energy drinks, but Connor's got me onto them, and I need the energy right now. Cheers. We're on the phone, but I thought I'd film out and about. We're in being cute, if you can tell. And we're getting our pan in. It was just so warm. Like, so yeah, that was fast, yeah. <laughs> Is it the same guy? No. We're getting our pan in paint, which is the Egyptian cotton. And now I'm scared. See how we're going. I look like shit. Can't get the paint for me. <laughs> so this is the garage, this is what we're working with. A lot of stuff still in here. Mainly my like makeup room stuff. We've also got the big fridge freezer in here up and running just for like more storage. We're gonna try and find our units, the side tables somewhere. They are all organised as you can see, but we don't know what one it is. We should have wrote on there what it was, not just E20. E20. So we're just putting the curtains up. The ones that I got from Danelm, or we got from Danelm, um, yesterday. It's this material, what's the material called? Boucle. Boucle. This is the, the ones. Take a screenshot if you want to get those. Yeah, that's it there. Boucle Ivory. Woodhouse Boucle Ivory. Yeah, and the texture is what I want throughout the house. And Connor, of course. He has no choice. We've put those up now. A little bit, a little bit creamer than I thought, but I think that's just the, the sun. And we need to cut the bottom of the mesh because it's a little bit too long. The pole is from IKEA. The net curtains are from, or mesh curtains are from um, B and M. Got those last time I moved. We've done a lot since. We've got the side tables up. We've sorted sort of in the cupboard but not at the same time and I'm going to show you in here we've got the toilet rolls up we've got the toilet roll handle got a few bits and bobs still need to tidy it up we're going to get the mirror today from Danelm all the street is pretty much done but I do want to get a black shower and maybe a black um, shower door right before and a black tap and the toilet thing pusher back but that can come in time I just noticed the camera is all dirty yeah we are going to pop to Denelm and do bits and bobs before the shop shut because it is a Sunday and go to Connor's and get the rest of his stuff we're quickly bringing out the camera because we've got a ninja in fire oh my God. <laughs> it's so heavy it's the latest one I think it's quite a big one. I'll uh, show you how I'm it up. Okay, so I've swapped my camera because my phone quality is just awful. But look at it, it's all set up, it works. Let's turn it on. It's so good. But I'm so happy with this. Very, very happy. It looks very technical, so I'm going to have to read the manual. I also bought these shelf racks for it, so you can cook like two things at once in one drawer. Not that we'll probably need them all the time, but that'll be good. I'm going to turn this off now. Goodbye. Oh my god, I love it. Um, and we got the warranty on it as well, which is really good. Um, and I also bought these silicone um, cases, which helps with cleaning it and the throwaway ones as well, just in case, like, I wanna make mac and cheese with it and stuff. So, if you know, especially in work, I've been wanting one of these for so long and I'm so happy so, to use it. We've started painting, ignore my chocolate milk. It's needed, bit of sugar. We've started painting the mustard yellow wall, white. And we are on my phone, I'm just, forget to bring my camera down and I don't want to go all the way upstairs but that noise is because we've got our first meal on the air fryer we're up and ready and here are the ingredients just as a little hint but I'm so excited so I'll show you it is the what's the date now it's the 17th of July we've been here for 10 days 
It's only been 10 minutes and I think it's done. <laughs> we were going to put it in for 20. <laughs> we'll get used to it. Good morning. It's now the next day. It's the 18th of July. I want to start saying the dates now <laughs> um, of the days because obviously I and you guys know how long it's going to take. Um, and stuff like that and obviously it's like a diary but it is what time is it 25 minutes past seven in the morning i'm currently getting ready for work uh, but i thought i would pop on just to say good morning and to let you guys know i'm going for the tear trough today and to get my lips refilled i'm only getting half a mil though if you watched earlier in the vlog obviously if you've got to this point you have but I said that I went for a consultation and I'm definitely getting both and I can't wait to get the tear trough this is the before I thought I'd show you before I put makeup on obviously I'm going to take it off for later this is stress <laughs> and this but yeah this is what it looks like you can clearly see it there she says she's just going to be doing this hollow fingers crossed I like it but I can't wait to get my lips done they feel a bit swollen today I don't know whether it's because I think I got a split anyway I'm gonna get ready now I will pop on after I get it done or if I do anything in between because I've got work like I said and then the appointment's not until half past seven this evening which is late for an appointment but I can't wait so see you guys in a bit wow they look very swollen and sore, but obviously I mentioned that I was going to the appointment today to get my lips done. And I also got the tear trough done as well, and I'm very happy with it. It's very swollen at the moment, so I look like I've had my like cheeks done, because they insert it, you can see it here, the needle by there, and then they go up, which is quite far down. But yeah, my lips are very red and swollen, that's what always happens. I am a bleeder as well, so that's great. But yeah, I'm very happy with it. I can't wait to see my lips when they go down. And I only had half a mil, which I'm glad I only had half a mil. No house update. We've just been painting, organising. It's hard because we've been back in work, obviously, and not getting many hours in the day to sort and organise. But I'm on my late tomorrow, so I'm going to do it in the morning. So maybe I'll pick it back up then. Hey guys, so it is now the 20th of July and me and Connor, well Connor's just got home and we're going to go to Ikea now. Yes, I'm in the same top again because I am very limited at the moment of what I can wear, what I found, but I need to buy my Ikea units before packing all my clothes away because obviously I'm putting them in my makeup room and buying another Ikea storage unit. Um, like Ikea pack thing so yeah we're gonna go have a look at it today we're gonna go have a browse for like other things and stuff like that the bedroom is still a mess Connor's in the shower um, but we got the TV up on the wall Wi-Fi is working as well that went live yesterday it's all coming together guys it's all coming together so But I'm just going to show you what we got, like a little Ikea haul. So first thing we got is these to put up in the wardrobe at the top there. So I got two of the big ones. These are what they are called. They're just cardboard boxes. I don't know if they're going to be sturdy enough for what I want them for, but I got the smaller one as well and when we go back I might get some more depending if I need them or not. So what I want these for is products that I've bought, like backups. Instead of putting them in the shower room, the ensuite, I'm going to put them out the way in the cupboard so when we need them, we can just get them out. So I'm going to do them in like category of body care and hair care. And then the little one is going to be my tanning. I don't know if I'm going to need another one we'll see but it depends how much weight they can take as well and i'm hoping they're going to be deep enough to stand the products up don't know what that noise was but yeah i'm going to go down and show you guys the rest of the stuff that we got we didn't get loads but got a fair bit so I'm, it's all in the garage so i'll take you down now 
Okay, the lighting is really, really orange. So it's better for there. Okay, I'm sorry if it's wonky, but that'll just have to do and ignore all the crap in the background. First, I'm gonna show you some stuff that we got. We got a, another one of my side tables. <sighs> now the battery's down. Um, this is what it's called. And I can show you what it looks like when I put it up, or I'll just show you the one that we've got up already. Then we got two cushions. I wanted the ones where you can karate chop, and these seem like the ones 50 by 50 uh, centimeters. So I got two of those, maybe for my living room, maybe for my room. I don't know. But again, gonna go back there and get more one day soon, hopefully. Then again got two pillowcases i got these ones because they look like a nice color i don't know if it says it on there that's the code there if you want to screenshot it and get it but they're just a nice sort of suede material um like a beigey nude stone color which is what we're going for got some like freezer clips i think they're called where you like clip the bag together when it's open i find these are really really handy for the freezer so it doesn't all go everywhere we got a light bulb for the lamp of course and it matches my if you've seen my other moving vlog um it matches the remote that i've got which i still haven't found i got these really nice champagne flutes these don't even ask me to pronounce that but i just love the shape of it it's different you know and they did have larger ones, which I might get next time. But I got four of those for when the girls come over. We got this sieve. I thought this was really cool. It's like a fold-up one. Really like that. <laughs> really random. But I need to get a washing basket that does this. Um, but that's that one there. But I really like the idea where you can fold it up. And it's good to go in, in your cupboard. Um, then we've got these glasses, which were like right at the front. So if you go to the Cardiff store, they're right at the front of the, when you walk into where you buy everything. It's always the kitchen first. Um, but again, that's what they look like, the code. We got four of those again. And then we seen these mugs, which I thought were really cute. They're clear, they're quite a big size. Um, and again, that's what they are called that was a nice quick haul i also got the long mirror to go in the bedroom uh, we already had that that's from ikea but we've already had that um but that's like a long length thin mirror to go in the gap of the ensuite street and the cupboard in the bedroom and it's got like a black rim around it i'll show you that when it's up but my camera's dying i'm gonna go charge it up and i will see you guys in a bit because i'm gonna be organizing so Okay, so ignore the banging if you hear that. It's my dad, he's knocking something down in the living room. Anyway, you'll see that in a few days probably. So, it's been a few hours because I had to charge the camera. Um, but let me just show you a makeshift compartments I've done. I'm not really bothered about the tape, to be honest, because it's gonna be locked away and I'm like the only one to see it apart from you guys obviously but I'm really happy with this I think but I'm just currently putting see what I mean drilling currently putting the products in so I'm just gonna do all the other ones because I've done hair masks and then I'm gonna do like shampoo leave-in conditioner uh, like random bits like hairspray dry shampoo uh, heat protectant, you know, all of that sort of stuff in one compartment. So yeah, I will show you guys when I'm done. I had this, this cardboard came with these. I think it was just to keep it like straight. Um, but I've cut that up. I've got that one to put in this one. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how it is. I can't be bothered to pay more for compartments so i've makeshift them i do this in work sometimes so it works so let's sort out all this oh my god i am knackered i just put the box up there sorry i forgot to show you but that is going to be a pain in my ass to get down every time because it was heavy <laughs> um also i forgot to show you we also got this from ikea which is a shoe compartment which i will put together now 
well I think it's all together but I'll put in the closet now and show you guys. I've just got back from work so excuse the state of me but we have ordered a chair to go in the hallway area which obviously you can see we've put the mirror here. We're gonna actually spray paint the mirror black because we don't like the silvery sort of colour. It's gonna look great and then obviously you've got the paint more. We're thinking about getting a radiate cover and then we're gonna have the chamber there. We was gonna think about getting um, like shoe rack, like unit, but maybe in the utility room because I don't know if you could see through there. There's a shoe rack there and I absolutely hate it. I'm gonna open this. This is only from Amazon, so if I remember, I will link it down below. Hello, Moto. Oh, you know I need to hold the box though. I'll just sit and watch. Yeah, I really good job of holding the box. Oh, shut up. There's a lens. There. So these are the legs. So you just got to screw them in, which is handy. In that as well. We like a matte black. Waiting for Connor to put the legs on. It's like the perfect size as well, isn't it? Ooh, you like sink into it. So... How do you like my new chair? It's perfect. Exactly what I was after. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And the colour, it's not too like beige. It's like an ivory cream colour. So excited. There's the black legs. Long time no see. I haven't picked you up for a while. Just because I've been getting like little random things done. But... I'm currently, let me just show you, in the process of painting this. Now when I bought it, I wanted to buy the white one. It's obviously silver. I do love it, but matte black is going to go so much nicer. We've got the frog tape here. Frog tape. Got some sandpaper to sand it down before I paint it. I've then got, I don't think you need to do this, but it's an undercoat. I've got the black paint. So we've gone for this one. It's called Liberty. Uh, it's a flat matte paint um, because we wanted it matte because we love a black matte. What's working best is cutting little by little, I find. I mean, everyone probably has their own technique, but I feel I can get right underneath like that. Okay, so I've just finished frog taping it. This is what it's looking like. So I've double taped it. Definitely small sections at a time is the way to go. Now I'm gonna sand it, which is my least favorite part. So I'm not looking forward to that, but oh well. <laughs> and then I'm gonna prime it and then paint it. So yeah, fingers crossed for me, guys. <laughs> Okay, so I have sanded it. You can sort of see it a little bit there. Now I'm going to prime it. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so I just got some um, advice off my dad and he thinks I should just, well, he said to just, for me to go in with this paint um, because it's got self priming on it and we have used it already and he said the coverage is really good on it anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that and leave primer for a DIY panelling that we're going to be doing very soon. So stay tuned for that. Also ignore the state of me. It's my day off today and I've got a hair mask on and I'm pale AF because I need to tan tonight. So <laughs> ignore that. But I'm going to now start painting.
Okay, so please ignore the lighting, I'm awful lighting and I obviously look a mess because I've washed my hair this morning but it's the next day now. Guys, the mirror looks insane, I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad and happy we decided to paint it, or well, I decided to paint it. I'm just going to show it to you on the floor, not complete because I need to take the frog tape off but this is going to be so satisfying. Okay, so quickly before my friend gets here, I am absolutely obsessed. Best decision we've made. I have had to go in some like little bits where when it dried it must have, I must have missed it, but <laughs> I'm obsessed. Little corner here. Oh. I can't wait to get the radiator cover and like maybe a photo on the wall. Absolutely obsessed. But also, I don't know whether I've showed you, we've changed the handles on all the doors. How stunning is that? And they're matte black, of course. And we have put up the mirror and the toilet wall holder. Um, just need to change the hand towel and stuff, but this was in my old ensuite shower room, but obviously it's in here now. Absolutely love it. I was actually I'm in an hour in about putting that there, but I quite like it actually. We was going to put a shelf for there, but I think we're going to leave it because my dad actually went through a pipe to put that on the wall, so... Yeah, we're gonna leave it, but Ellie should be in here very soon. We're gonna have a goody day. I'm gonna do a makeup, film some content. I love the lighting in here. Hello guys. I look like I've got such broad shoulders. This video has been going on for months. It is now the 19th of September, as you can probably see on the screen. I just wanted to give you a little update and conclusion, I suppose, of this video. Sorry if I look really pale, but I just wanted to come on at the end of this video just to, like I said, conclude the video and tell you a little bit of an update. This video has taken me ages to post, but I wanted to get a lot of context in my video and a lot of like entertainment for you guys. If you've got this far, then thank you so much. Um, I will be posting more moving stuff. Um, house stuff so I hope you're looking forward to that. I am in the making today, starting today because I'm off work for a week. I'm going to be doing a week in the life with me so you'll see like all my house updates after this video now. Post this video and I'm going to post my beauty room transformation video so look out for that i really hope you've enjoyed if you have then please make sure to subscribe to my channel because i will be like i said posting a lot more moving housey bits for especially autumn now we've got the cozy weather I know if this video was a bit chaotic as well hopefully my editing and the way i film um i'm gonna change it up a little bit because i feel like it was a bit chaotic um it's gonna be a bit more aesthetic put together so hopefully in the next moving vlog you will enjoy it a little bit more please do give a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it it lets me know that you want to see more like this and yeah thank you so much for joining me and i hope you look forward to seeing more content like this bye guys